3rd January 2018, I'm Layu, an intern at Topayo Vets. Here are three red yard sliders today, all with anorexia. Anorexia is a loss of appetite. But what exactly is the problem with each of the terrapins, and how do we treat it? Let us take a look. Case 1, Day 4, a 12-year-old, 920 grams female. Bleeding from multiple wounds from being bitten by a male. Case 2, day 5. A 2-year-old, 50 grams, female. Swollen, puffy eyes that it cannot open. Case 3, day 2. A 5-year-old, 1.6 kg, female. With no blood and no swelling, there seems to be nothing visibly wrong. But it's not eating. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Anorexia in Red Yard Sliders This video shows the cases of the three anorexic Red Yard Sliders with the problem, the causes, and the treatment. Case 1 with multiple wounds is treated via wiping with water and antiseptic, antibacterial cream, oral antibiotics, and critical care feed. Case 2 with swollen, puffy eyes has infected eyes, eyelids, and corneas and is treated with antibiotic eye drops. Case 3, who is restless and not eating, is found out to be gravid, as seen in the x-ray later. Injections of oxytocin, calcium glubionate, and antibiotics are given for egg laying. Case 1. Let us take a look at the terrapin with multiple wounds. It came to us with multiple infected wounds, bleeding mucus all over its body, his neck, and even his eyes. Long sharp claws of the adult male red yard slider, right, can be seen, which injured the head, eyes, body, and back of the female, left. 31st December 2017, Day 1, Treatment. The wounds have to be cleaned via wiping of water and antiseptic using gauze. Antibacterial cream is applied once a day, antibiotics injected, and oral antibiotics administered twice a day to kill the bacteria. Critical care feed is force fed twice a day as the terrapin would weaken without food but still has no appetite. Day 10. The wounds are much improved from the first day. The terrapin still has no appetite, so it is force fed with a syringe. Tomorrow, day 11, this terrapin is going home to continue treatment. Case 2. Swollen, puffy eyes. The eyes, eyelids, and corneas are infected, and the pain causes appetite loss. 30 December 2017. Day 1. Treatment. To get rid of the infection, we administer antibiotic eye drops twice a day for 5 days. Day 5. It is able to open its right eye, but not its left eye yet. Better still, it has regained its appetite. It has eaten the pellets, as can be seen by the spitting. Anorexia conquered. Case 3. The terrapin that looks normal, with no infections or body wounds. Day 2. Diagnosis. Let us probe a bit deeper. Since red yet sliders reach sexual maturity at 3 to 5 years old, this terrapin might be gravid. So, we used an x-ray to look inside the body and check. And there! A total of seven well-formed eggs can be seen. Let's hear what the doctor has to say. So this could be one reason why it's not eating because it's the eggs, they can't come out. Sometimes they are stuck. Mm. But so far it hasn't got stuck yet. These are inside the uterus. Mm. Treatment. So the terrapin isn't eating due to infection as well as uterine inertia the lack of effective uterine contractions to expel the eggs. This discomfort dissuades the terrapin from its food. We thus inject calcium and oxytocin along with antibiotics subcutaneously. Let us watch. Sometimes we give under the skin to, to get the, the radius cell to lay eggs because sometimes the uterus is not contracting. These are what terrapin eggs look like. But this terrapin did not lay eggs. The adult female radius slider, left, has seven eggs 
seen in X-ray, but has not laid any eggs after two injections of calcium gluconate and oxytocin. However, it is eating well. So, on day 4, it is going home. What conclusion may we draw from this case? Most importantly, early diagnosis is key, especially in these cases where the terrapins were not eating, these terrapins were weakened quickly without treatment. For more educational videos like this, do go to topayovets.com slash videos.htm Thank you for watching.